All right, Facebook has been taking a beating over the revelation that it is collecting in a user's data uh, and then providing it to a third party, but they are not the only ones doing this. For more on who's collecting your data and how it's being used, we're joined again by Daniel Bader. He's a senior editor for Mobile Nations. Good to have you back with Good us. Good morning. I think the big question for everybody is, of the big tech companies, who does what with the data that you sign off, that you click? I agree to yep. the terms and conditions, but we want to show people, first of all, what of your information these major tech companies are collecting. So big tech collects your, your contact information, your location, ads that you click on, websites you visit, and your search queries. But what do they do with that information? So let's take Google for an, uh, as an example. Google, uh, like Facebook, is an ad company. And when they take your information, they use it to give you and show you better ads. I want to pause right there because people think of Facebook as an information conveyor. But you are very firm that it is not. It is a ad company. It is. It, you are the product. You are the you are the, the the people that Facebook wants to show ads to. Mm -hmm. The actual their customers are the ad companies. The companies that want to put really relevant ads in front of your eyes so that you're more likely to click on them. Okay. And so with that premise in front of us, then Facebook, Google are ad companies, and they collect and do what with your information? So Google does not share your information with third parties. They don't actually sell it to anybody else. Google keeps it inside the company so that you'll spend more time on Google services. The beauty of that, though, is that Google is one of the biggest data companies in the world. They have more information on you likely than Facebook because of all of the services. Gmail, it scans your emails to, to, to find Rel uh, keywords for relevant ads. Google Maps uh, will keep a list of every location that you've been to. And these location services are on by default, whether you're on an iPhone or Android, or you're looking up a, a search term on your browser, it will follow you throughout because you are logged into your Google account at all times. So Google keeps your information. Facebook uses it to market to ad other, firms? Uh, other ad firms. Uh, well, other companies. So mm -hmm. Google will, uh, because Google basically has its own data brokers, they don't need any third parties to give them more uh, data points about you. They bought a company called DoubleClick in 2007. That serves as a data broker. It allows Google to go out, even when you're not logged into Google, it allows Google to go out and find more information about you and pass it along back to the parent company so that it can then be better target ads towards you. Facebook doesn't always have that privilege, so it uses third-party data brokers that collect lots of information about you to then bring, uh, allow brands to uh, target you more, more effectively so that, again, once you're back on Facebook, you're more likely to click on these ads. Uh, quickly, Amazon and Yahoo, how do they use your information and what do they collect? So Amazon collects your buying history, your buying data. It wants to make it much easier for you to buy the right things. Um, Amazon has a lot of information about everything that you like. The second that you know you you start looking up, uh, you know, a, a baby book, for instance, if, if your if your spouse is pregnant, uh, that comes back, and twelve, you know, nine months later, you're you're getting the relevant uh, ads for diapers, for instance. These are the kinds of things Amazon will follow your entire history along because it wants you to be a customer for life. I wish we had more time on this, but we'll have you back again, Daniel. Fascinating. Thanks so much. Thanks, Anne Marie.